What's up guys? Back with another episode after a long long fucking break, but uh I'm gonna show you what's going on in my garage. So have you seen I've been working on the SR20 here. Uh, the transmission used to be orange, so I took care of that. Fucking went over with some aluminum color engine paint basically. Same thing with the block here. Just clean some stuff up a bit. But uh I have a problem today, so just putting on my exhaust manifold. I'm trying to tighten up some bolts, but uh, I got a bunch of bolts tightened. But if you see uh, this bolt back here, this one, see how the stud's sticking out so much? It's not tightening up. As I'm turning this to tighten it, this bolt's pulling out, so that tells me something's wrong in here. Um, previous owner has tried to fix these stud. They probably went with the the different style of um, thread repair technique. So I got that one. This one also is not tightening up. One back here. Can't get it focused, but uh, I'm gonna pull this manifold off and we're gonna see what's going on here. All right, guys, I got my exhaust manifold off. So our concern stud is this one and this one. Now look at it. Look at how much more this one sticks out compared to this. So as I'm tightening this, the thread's not holding in, so that means the stud's pulling out. This one's out even further. Look at that one compared to this. It's actually, uh, yeah, so this one is fucked too. So something's going on in here. Um, I don't know what the previous owner did, but all I know is this stud is not going to do the job. Especially once you're running this engine and it gets hot and shit, it's just going to fucking pull out, then you're going to have exhaust leaks. So... I'm gonna deal with this and this. I already dealt with the one uh, right here. This one I already repaired. And I didn't know about these two guys until I started tightening the bolts on it. So we're gonna deal with that today. Um, so what I do know is this stud here is the dimension, the spec for the stud is M10-125 for thread pitch. So this is called Keycert from Greg Distributor. If you live in Canada, you have access to Greg Distributor, but you're trying to get this spec here, M10-125 and times M14-1.5. So that's gonna be the outside of the Keycert. The Keycert is this little guy here. This is the Keycert. Right, so the inside thread in here is gonna accept your exhaust stud. But to do that, you gotta drill a hole, tap it, so you can screw this in. That's where the M14-1.5 comes in. You're gonna drill a hole and then th tap it to accept this thread and you're gonna screw this in. And this is the installation tool. So basically it goes like uh, in here catches on these prongs here, these four prongs, and you turn it in. And my goal is gonna get this surface here flush with the block surface, and then you hammer these prong in. And to do that, you need this, um, this installation tool. It helps hammering all four prong in more consistent. And yeah, once you hammer it in, this is a mechanical where it's gonna prevent this from moving, right? Along with that, I'm gonna use red Loctite on here. But these seems to be the best. There's other helix coil and stuff in there, but they're not the greatest. They can back out or whatever. Um, I think these are the best. And when it comes to high heat, exhaust, you're not gonna fuck around. So you, you wanna go for the best shape. You're gonna do it, do it with the right stuff. So this is my option, okay? And I'm gonna go with the procedure with how I'm doing it. All right, so step number one is to remove the stud. And in order to do that, you're gonna need two nuts for the exhaust stud. So we're going to screw that one on, screw the second one on. And then you're going to grab two wrenches. Don't mind this wrench, I have to fucking modify it. But uh, you're going to tighten these nuts up against each other. So that way uh, you can pull this stud out. So just two like that. Okay. And um, 
the back nut, you're going to have the wrench on the back nut and you should be able to pull your stud out. Oh fuck, what do you know, it comes out by hand. Just like that. Look at that, see that? So that's the first stud I pulled out. You see this? This is the aluminum thread from the block that um, basically pulled out. So either the stud was over tightened or you're not too sure what happened, but as you can see, it's not doing its job. So it's just hanging out in there based on some material grip, but uh, that's no good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one out too because this was the same issue. So I wouldn't be surprised if the threads about the same. I'm gonna clean the the threads on here. And to do that, you're gonna want the M10 1.25. If you don't know how to tap or uh, clean the threads, do some YouTube videos, but basically this is what you want, right? M10 1.25, because we're going to clean the thread on here, which is M10 1.25. Clean them both. Okay, that's the dirty uh, stud there. I'm going to grab my tool. Make sure it's center. I right, should be doing this with two hands, but... Since there's aluminum in there, it should come right off. Should be, um, there shouldn't be much resistance, but it should pull that fucking aluminum right off. They're not really bonded, it's just hanging out in that groove. But yeah, I just wanna clean her up. All right, you feel resistant, pull out, back off, see what's going on. It's pretty straightforward. Watch some videos if you wanna get an idea about it. Get confident before you do it. Okay, there's some leftover aluminum there. But uh yeah, it should be um should be fucking clean. Alright, the threads are clean, it's not damaged. I'm gonna renew these. Alright, here's the fun part. So on here, um the new hole I got to drill is going to accept that uh, key cert, which is calls for a uh, spec for that as M14-1.5, right? That's what we have to tap it to. And if you look up, okay, on the paper, if you're tapping for M14 by a 1.5 millimeter, calls for a 12.5 millimeter or half inch drill bit. So I'm gonna go straight with the half inch drill bit. You're gonna drill. You wanna drill as straight as possible. Cause if you, um, if it's not straight, your angle's gonna be off or you're moving around too much, you're gonna make it bigger than the spec, right? But try to drill as straight as possible, take your time. Okay, so before you even start, you wanna know how deep this hole is. So just grab a rod of some sort. I got a TIG welding rod here. You're gonna push it all the way into the back and I'm gonna put my finger here, pull it out. That's how deep it is. And I'm gonna put a piece of tape here and mark it, right? So I know this is as deep as she's gonna go. I'm gonna double check. Okay, about that deep, right? Where the tape hits, that's the mating face here. Okay, so we got our mark here. I'm gonna put it on my drill bit and transfer that depth so flush right there and you know you're gonna drop a tape here drop a nice piece of tape so when I do drill it I'm gonna drill it until it gets to this deep here and uh, you stop because you don't want to go any deeper no point going deeper and if you don't go deep enough you might um, not get your key certain. Okay, so take your time drilling these holes. Make sure it's straight and you don't wobble too much.
Just one. All right, so I marked out how deep I want to tap this. And to do that, I took my key cert and I put it right up to there. So I already started counting where it's actual full threads. Notice how the from here to right about there, it's uh, narrow. That's not what you want because that's not going to hold your key cert in. I started counting from here where it's straight all across. So the goal is to tap that much of it. That way this piece will screw in there and sit flush. So start tapping. Make sure you lube up your tap bit and uh, just give her. So after you tap your holes, you want to blow all the debris out of here and degrease it, right? Make sure there's nothing in here. No grease, no aluminum bits, no debris. Okay, so our hole is clean, it's been degreased, but before we install the key cert, I like to um, turn this in and see where we sit at. Make sure that we drill and tap it to the right depth, right? That is our goal because you don't want to put Loctite on it. Put it in and turn out it's not at the right depth. So use your installation tool, turn her in. Remember, you can get this from Greg Distributor. Um, just got to look through their book. I can supply the part number too if you need to. Now I'm checking for flushness, right? I want to make sure that when this key starts to install, it's going to be flush to this mating surface. That way when you put your head gasket and your exhaust manifold, this thing's not protruding out and messing around with the seating. So this one's good. I'm going to pour out. I'm going to check my other one. Okay, so this one's also flush. We're gonna pour out. All right, so I have my key cert. I'm gonna put some Loctite on there, red Loctite. High temp preferably, if you can. If not, then uh, red, regular Loctite, but do what you could. Okay, I'm gonna get her started in there. We're gonna go ahead and use our tool and turn her in there and get her flush with the mating surface. Okay, 
you need another turn, snap flush shut. Okay, it's flush. So on your tool here, now you're gonna rest the prong on the non-groove section and we're gonna use this as a hammer and hammer these prong in. But for some reason, you see there, for some reason, this tool doesn't allow you to hammer it flush. As you can see, it's receding in here. So I'm just gonna grab one of my piece here and bang this flush. Get it all the way in there. Clean off any um, Loctite residue. Make sure no prong sticking out. So to me that is flush. You don't wanna be using this, well, you wanna wait 24 hours for the red Loctite to cure. Then you can go ham with your stud, put your stud back in and do what you gotta do. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this one. Okay, same thing, put your red lock tight. Use our installation tool. Make sure you turn it in there, right? Check if it's flush. Oh, I have to turn it a little bit more. Okay, so that's flush now. I'm gonna hammer this prongs in. She's flush. Okay guys, that's my short video on how to repair the thread hole in your block. You wanna get the good stuff, don't cheap out. If you're gonna do it, do it right, do it once. Um, it's gonna cost a little bit of money, but it is what it is, right? Do it right. If you got any questions, shoot me a message and I will let you know what's good. Catch you guys next time.